Hey guys, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We wanted to thank you all so much for your support and kind words, and we do apologize that we have not uploaded for a while. We've had a lot going on, but we are excited to get back on track this week. This is our first thrift store video. So if you like this style, Please let us know if you want to see more thrift store videos in the future. And as always, if you do enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. This first project is going to be super easy. All you'll need is a glass vase from your local thrift store. And I got this for only a dollar and I really, really like the design. I spray painted it with this metallic copper spray paint, but it was a little too dull for my liking, so I went over it with a different metallic spray paint that I will leave a link in the description below. I felt like the other spray paint just gave it a lot better look and shine. Then to decorate it, all I did was put some floral foam in the bottom and put this eucalyptus that I got from Walmart inside. For this project, we're going to be using this globe that we got from Savers for just $4. Since it is a secondhand store, we want to make sure that we are cleaning all of this. So I would use some kind of disinfectant to go through and clean all of the items that you get from the thrift store. And then if you need extra work, maybe like a glass cleaner degreaser to clean it up a little bit more. Maybe some of them even use like an alcohol wipe so that when we paint these, that paint will stick to them. I'm just using a glass cleaner to go over everything and clean this up. Once we've cleaned everything, we can start taking it apart by starting with the globe. Now this one did have a light in it. We're not gonna be using that. So I'm gonna be taking the bulb out and the electrical since we're just using it as a tabletop decor piece. What I'm doing here is just removing the base so that we can get to all of the wiring underneath. And then we will go ahead and cut that out and pull the cord out and then also remove the bulb since we don't need to use any of that in this project. Now, if you did want to use it, you definitely could, but what we're doing is we're gonna be painting the globe. So it would probably either not show through or look kind of weird anyway. But if you wanted to keep it just as is for the light, you could definitely do it. The light in this just didn't work and it's not the idea that I was going for anyway. After we've removed all that, we can go ahead and peel off any stickers that are on here. We want to try and create a very sleek, expensive looking decor piece. So definitely want to remove the extra little stickers and stuff like that. I'm just using some Goo Gone to go ahead and remove the extra residue. As we move on to painting, I'm using this gloss black from Krylon to paint the globe. And then the gold looked okay on here, but it looked a little old and there was some fading on it or some scratches. So I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum gold spray paint to clean it up and give it more of a uniform look throughout the whole piece and also to clean it up from any of those wear marks or scratches. And the last part is to assemble it all back together. So we're gonna just take the bottom of the globe and slide it over the bottom part and then slide that top part in and that will complete it. Now, I love how this turned out. I think it looks super high end, really modern. The black and the gold together, absolutely beautiful. I saw similar products online for 40 to $50 and we only spent $4 on this. So a huge savings and able to create something absolutely beautiful.
this project we found a really cool triangle wood piece from savers and it was only $1.99 so we knew we had to grab that i've seen other designs kind of like this on etsy and i wanted to make a really cool jewelry holder you'll need one of these 12 inch dowels from dollar tree and i just stained it with the stain that we had on hand which is the minwax dark walnut stain it matched it pretty well and then we will cut it right in the middle so that there's a longer dowel in the middle and then two shorter ones on the ends and this can hold like rings or bracelets or anything like that Once those are cut, you will want to sand them down and then stain it just over the part that you sanded. I just measured out the middle, which is five and a half inches on my piece, just so that I knew where the middle one would go. And then I went over an inch and a half on both sides. That's where the other two smaller dowels will go. You'll want to take a drill and drill these three holes and make sure you're going straight and not at an angle. The drill bit that you will use is the same size as the dowel. I would recommend drilling if you decide to do a project like this. If you just glue the dowels on top, they just won't stick very well. After I drilled it, there was just a little bit that you could see that wasn't stained anymore. So I went over with that same stain as before and just put it on. To secure these, I just put a little bit of hot glue at the bottom and put that through the hole. Hot glue worked really well for the purpose that I'm using it for. You can use something stronger like E6000 or wood glue, but it's not necessarily needed for this project. Now that we have the ring and bracelet holder section done, we are gonna go back to the bottom and I measured out every inch and put a dot. And that's where I'm going to be putting all these little hooks. These little hooks I got from Walmart and a whole pack of 40. I only used nine and it was $4. It's pretty easy just to twist it in by hand, but I show you in a minute that you can use needle nose pliers to kind of get it in there a little bit and then twist it on. So this method also does work. You just push it in pretty hard at the beginning and then you can just twist it all the way up. If you have any that are a little bit crooked, all you have to do is grab the needle nose pliers and just bend it slightly. This is how the finished product turned out and I really really love how it looks. It's perfect for all of my jewelry. To secure it on the wall, you can put a little command strip or a picture hanger right there or you can just put a nail and hang the triangle part right on it. For this project, we're gonna be using this basket that we got for only $1 at the DI. Now, if you're not familiar, DI stands for Deseret Industries, and it's more of a West Coast thrift store, like Utah, Idaho, California, some of those surrounding states. And we usually find a lot better deals there. This was only a dollar. When we go to Goodwill, Saver, some of the other ones, I feel like they're a little bit more expensive. So let me know in the comments if you shop at the DI, if you find the same thing, that it's cheaper, or if you have better luck at other places. I'm kind of curious to see how that goes for you guys. What we're going to be doing is using this Ikea light to turn this into a hanging light and using the basket as a shade. So I'm just using some wire cutters to cut around the top here so we can slide that in. And I actually almost didn't pick up the basket. I saw it and I really liked it originally, but I was just thinking, ah, oh, we could use it for like a decor piece, put stuff in it. But then I thought it would look amazing as a lamp shade. So that's what we're doing today is turning it into a hanging lamp. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It's very simple. Again, the basket only costs a dollar. The light kit from Ikea, $7. And once we've cut that, it slides right in and we can screw that bottom piece in. And these light bulbs are 
absolutely amazing. We got these from Ikea as well for only $2. They were on sale. I think they were normally like 10 or $12. So a really big bulb and kind of gives that Edison vibe. Um, but I absolutely love how this turned out. For a very fun thrift store DIY, I think it's kind of hard to beat this for only $10 and it gives such a very high end look. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed today's video, we'll leave a link right here for one of our playlists so you can jump through and watch even more amazing DIYs that will save you tons of money. But as always, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.